Hey, it's Tom. Continuing our five plus, five years in running series. Got another custom knife. This one here, a good friend of mine that was on Facebook. Uh, said to me, hey Tom, I'm gonna start making knives. Oh, okay. And, excuse me. I'm gonna start making knives. You to review them. Okay. What do you want on it? Oh. The 1095 steel I like. Uh, you know, I, I love white bone handles or steak handles. And, uh, so, a couple months later, I'm sitting here and this, this arrives in the mail. This is a Crow and Neagle uh, bush lore. This is what they call this knife. You see Trevor's watermark there. Now this is a 1095 uh, carbon steel. He treated to 60 Rockwell. The knife is a quarter inch thick. Distal taper is just about perfect on it. Now, Got a white polished bone, scales, two pin, full tang, lanyard hole. What a knife to hold and use. It's so stupid comfortable, it's pathetic. Five and a half inch blade on it. Crone Eagle Trading Company, it was uh, operated by a guy named Trevor Green. I don't know whatever happened to them. They just kind of fell off the map. He stopped making knives and that was it. A couple of my friends have this knife, and um, to be perfectly honest with you, they don't like it. They said it was junk, this, that, and the other thing, and to be honest with you, after many months of using this knife, and I have a couple of reviews on it, it, it was pretty bad. It didn't hold an edge. It was hard to sharpen because of the 60 Rockwell. And, um, but I just fell in love with the knife and kept it. It is a custom handmade knife. It's a wood floor. It's the only one out there with the white handles. Um, as you can see, the blade's been cleaned up. I was going to give it to a friend of mine. Um, yeah. Now, what I did with this knife is I took my Lansky kit and I reprofiled the grind on it. Once I did that, then it, it was sharp. You could see it, it like glowing in the light there. It stayed sharp. The profile of the blade was just off, and it's still off on the tip a little bit. You can see it there. So the tip kind of juts out that way. It's still a little bit off. As far as using and workability of the knife, it's good in the hand. It's light. Works fine. Uh, cleaned a couple of animals, but I didn't use it a whole lot because when I was doing I cleaned a woodchuck with it, did good. I honed it, I came back, and I was going to do a deer that a friend of mine had come by with that he uh, he found. And uh, I got about three quarters of the way into the opening a deer up, and it went dull. That's when I decided to reprofile it and see what in God's name is going on, because I know it's heat treated, a good heat treat on there, and it's carbon steel, and it should hold and take an edge like mad, but it just goes dull fast. Well... We straighten all that out with a little reprofiling. So if you have one of these or you buy one of these from Crow and Eagle, which I don't even know if they're still in business, just remember you're going to have to reprofile the blade. But she is a handsome knife and it is a beauty. I love it. It just it fits so nice in your hand. The sheath on them is a heavy leather sheath. It's like a 7 ounce leather sheath just to fold over with a, a little thing in the back for a belt loop. Knife sits in there deep enough to where you don't have to worry about it falling out. But she is a beauty. It's got a nice roll pin in your hole. And like I said, if you own one of these, you just need to have a little bit of reprofiling going on. 
But it is a custom knife, and I do like it, and it, I've had it now for three or four years. And uh, Crown Eagle Trading Post, Woods Lore. Great knife if you want to put some time into it. This is Tom. Uh, thank you for your time and your patience. And we'll see you guys on the next one. I'll put that away.